Welcome to TuneBoss. Today I'm going to show you how to install the TuneBoss ECU and also the basic use of our app. TuneBoss is an advanced ECU with Bluetooth technology that connects directly to your smartphone so you can tune it wirelessly. So it's really easy to install TuneBoss. All you have to do is unplug your standard ECU. and plug in your tune boss. You should be immediately able to start your bike. So the next thing you do is download our app from the Play Store. So you search for Tune Boss Manager and you should be able to find it right here on Play Store. Okay, I have it installed on my phone. So start up Tune Boss Manager. The first thing it'll do is ask you to turn on Bluetooth because that's what we use to connect uh, to the Tune Boss. Okay, so then you switch on your bike. And press connect to device in list. So for a first time connection, you have to scan for devices. Sometimes uh, the device comes up as a null device. So you just click on it. And then the actual name will come out. So this is uh, your serial number. You should be able to find it on the back of your tune boss. So the default pin is one, three, four, two. So this is the same for all tune boss units. So now you're connected. So the first two things you will have to do is to change your password and do a throttle calibration. So in my case, I'm just going to use the default password. So it will just show you password change successful. So you press back. And then you go to throttle calibration. Press start. Okay, so now the, what you have to do is you have to move your throttle from closed to open to closed and a few times. Repeat this a few times. So all it's doing is it's you know measuring the open and uh, closed throttle positions. So then you press finish and it'll say TPS calibration successful. So you're good to go. You press back and all the functions should be enabled now. All right, so uh, I'm just going to show a few uh, basic features. Uh, one of the really important things we have is the dashboard data logger feature. So here, press start. You can see um, your battery voltage, manifold air pressure, throttle position. You can see I'm going to move my throttle. And it, you know, it reads it in real time, really fast, OK? Uh, so I'm now going to start my bike. Okay, so one of the cool features that we have is an error indicator function. As you can see here, if there's any error on your bike, it'll actually highlight one of these red buttons here, and you can just click on it. And you can even tell you exactly what error, you know, a map error, TPS error, 
things like that. So it's really easy uh, to know what's wrong with your bike. You don't have to uh, you know, open a manual to figure out what's wrong. So this is the basic use. So I'm going to go back to the main screen. Uh, there's a few other features that we have. Fuel adjustment, spark adjustment, you know, map downloads. You can download maps, uh, pre-tuned maps from us. Okay, so I'm going to show that in a video uh, next time. So thanks for watching, guys.